perfect. Two. Deep in the woods of Western Maryland. One last one. Make it count. A show of strength. And one more for the road. And a son's nice. love for his dad. That's great, man. <laughs> so, Scott, who's that? Legally, he's my stepson, but he feels like blood to me. Theirs is an unbreakable bond built over years, but cemented by tragedy. Just 19 months ago, Scott Spitnally was cruising down this country road on his motorcycle, a ride that would change everything. I'm rolling down there, not a cloud in the sky. Another driver turned right in front of Scott. He slammed into her windshield, the force of the crash, throwing him 80 feet. His Harley destroyed his life hanging by a thread when his son Grant Taylor's phone rang. How did you find out about the accident? I got a call from a random number. He said, hey, look, uh, your dad just got in a motorcycle accident. He's not going to survive. Uh, your mom's hysterical right now. It'd probably be best if you come get her. Scott was airlifted to a trauma center in Baltimore after surviving tours in Afghanistan and Iraq, receiving a bronze star for heroism. This army veteran was in a coma, his leg shattered and his spinal cord fractured. The next day, doctors called on Grant to make a choice. There's not a good chance that, you know, your father's gonna live, but that leg needs to go, what's your decision? It was a very hard decision for me and my mom to make, just in a blink. It's like, yep, he would, he would be okay with that. Scott was in that medically induced coma for five days. Grant's dad, his hero, was paralyzed from the waist down, told he would never walk again. Suffering does two things. It, it either breaks you down and it kills you or it makes something of you. A lot of people don't realize that growth can come from that, is that you're not buried, you're planted. When you woke up from the medically induced coma, what was the first thing you said to him? All you need is grit and love. How did those words change your life? The words grit grabbed onto me and he hit me deep. Grit is a different perception of life. It's grind, grit, and grace. And being able to have that grit is uh, being able to just take that other step forward. While Scott was away for months of grueling rehab, Grant transformed his parents' home for his family's new reality. But he wasn't finished. Motivated to help his dad heal, Grant left his job as an event coordinator to become a certified personal trainer at Lifetime Fitness. Grant built a gym for his dad in their basement. They had one shared goal, a chance to disprove any doubters. You're never gonna walk again, and I'm like... <laughs> watch me. Watch me walk. They battled at it together for months. We gotta walk, man. We gotta walk. Then, a breakthrough. It was something as though it was a miracle. He looked at me, and his face is red, and he's concentrating. I see a tear rolling down his eye, and he moved his leg. And on this day, with our cameras rolling, Scott nice. did it again. He did it. You know, talking about not getting it done, we got it done. And we continue to get that done. I love you a lot. They said it. For this father and son, grit was no longer just a word, but a motto. He told me, son, grit's all you need. Grit's all you need. Yeah, and I took it to heart. Um, I got it tattooed on me the day that he said it remind myself every day of what I have to keep on going and my purpose and my reason and also that we're in this together. I spoke with Grant last night. He told me that Scott is now pushing to get his own matching grit tattoo since we visited them. Grant tells me that his dad has taken a couple extra steps every time he grabs those bars during their workouts. Obviously, this has not been easy. There's still plenty of challenges, including two more surgeries in just the last month. But as Grant tells me, guys, together their priority remains finding purpose in each day, the kind of motto that all of us could live by. Wow. That was amazing, I know. Peter. When you think about, you know, complaining about your day oh. mm -hmm. and, then, and then you see this, Peter, that is just, that's inspiration. And the love you know between said, the two of them. Oh. And what they said that really struck me is the focus. They put their focus not on the past, yeah. not on the future, just living in each moment. And Beautiful. as you witness it, it's really something we can pushing all yourself through each about. moment. That grant oh. is something. He's a, he is a special, special man. Thank Thanks. you, Peter. Yeah. That Peter. was great. Right, Thank you, mm. Peter. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.